Hi guys, thank you so much for coming along to my channel again. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Um, it is because of you that I'm here, so um, thank you for visiting my channel. If this is the first time you are visiting me, I appreciate you. Thank you, you are amazing. Perhaps through Google search or referral, whatever means that you're able to get in touch or you know, reach out to me, thank you. I uh, would appreciate if you could please click that subscribe button down there and click the notification bell so that anytime I release new content, you'll be the first person to get that because I wouldn't want you to um, miss any of my content, believe me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys are amazing for sharing these, for you know liking, for whatever way you are helping to promote and then make this reach out a larger audience, thank you. Um, please, I would encourage you and recommend that you continue to come back and continue to refer and continue to share, right? So that we'll continue to build this uh, community of practice, an active community of practice. Um, my intent is to always to provide you with valuable information about Agile and Scrum to learn, to collaborate, to inspect, and to adapt, okay? Um, again, I provide free mentorship and coaching so if you are in that position where you want to collaborate with someone who is already doing what you are thinking of doing, or you're already new to Scrum and Agile, or you are transitioning, right? Just reach out, free, no payments, okay? It's always free. I'm more than happy to share what I have learned over the years and also to learn from you, okay? All right. So today I will be sharing with you guys what most Scrum Masters and Agile coaches don't know about um, one key thing to do in Jira. How would you know if the overall of what your team is building is still on track? How would you know if the sprint that you guys are in is healthy? Again, people will use a uh, born down chart to measure the progress or to kind of capture metrics, KPI. Okay. But there is also one other thing that people have forgotten or not sure on how to use it, which is gadgets. Okay. Whether you are using Jira, whether you're using Azure DevOps board, whatever tool you are using. But for the purpose of today's content, we're gonna focus mostly on Jira. I'm gonna show you guys how you can use gadgets in Jira to measure or track the health of your sprints. In fact, the health, how you can get these gadgets to track timesheet for your team members, how you can use this information to create visibility so that stakeholders are uh, able to understand what is really happening, okay? Now, if you already know what, to, what gadget is, I would also encourage you to sit tight. But if you're not sure what gadget is, perhaps this is the first time you're having that gadget in Jira, just sit tight. Believe me, you're going to also benefit from this. So I'm going to pull up my Jira board, and then I'm going to walk you through on what on how to do this, okay? Just give me one second here. Okay, so as you can see on my board, um, I'll try to make it bigger. Give me one second here. I hope it's getting bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully it's bigger for you. Um, so this is my Jira board. Again, you can create a free version of Jira, no matter uh, what you want to do. So I'm going to ask you to create a free version of Jira. If you don't know how to do that, all you need to do is when you open Google, type Jira login. It's going to ask you to sign up. If this is the first time from there, it's going to ask you for your credential. Just put on your email credential, your create an email and password, and then you should be good from there. When you open your Jira, okay, you have created a project. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you just go in. Um, as you can see, I have my project right here. Now, I don't need to create a project. All I need to do is to look for um, my dashboard. Okay, so now I'm going to minimize this so that I can see my dashboard. Okay, so now you can see dashboard right there. Okay, if you can see my screen, this is dashboard. Now, if I click this drop down menu here, now it's going to say view all dashboards or create dashboards. So I'm going to create a dashboard. 
Now it's going to ask me, okay, what name do I want to give these gadgets or dashboard I want to create, right? So I'm going to give it a name. So you can experiment with me. So for the purpose of today's content, I'm going to say uh, 21st, 21st um, Software Development. That's the name. And if I decide to give it a description, it is optional. For the purpose of today, I'm going to make it optional. Now, viewers. Now, this means, do I just want to be the only person that can be able to see this? Or should I make it public? Or for the entire organization? Or should I make it um, that some viewers can be able to assess this? Right? So if you click the drop down menu, it's going to give you a different option. Okay, if you want to make it available for a group, if you want to make it available for organization, if you want to make it available for users, right? So whatever option you make it here um, determines who you're going to add and who should have access to your dashboard. Now, the same thing applies, who should edit and who should view. So for viewers and for editors, I'm going to make it uh, private. So you can leave it private for now. As soon as you're done, just click Save. And then let's happen. Right. So now it takes us to the dashboard. And now all we need to do is to kind of uh, bring in the different gadgets we need to get into our board. There are different gadgets, as you can see on the right colon, on the right hand side of the board. There are different gadgets you could use. Believe me, there are tons of gadgets. Now let's talk about sprint health. You want to find out whether your sprint is in, you know, healthy or not. Now let's type in Sprint Health, okay? Now you can see we have uh, a Sprint Health gadget. Now all you need to do is to click on Add. When you click on Add, it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. Now, depending on the board you already have in Jira, by board, I mean the different uh, projects you have. Now, if I click on this, um, I have different balls I already created, right? So I'm going to select any one that I want. So for today's content, I'm just going to leave it at uh, uh, SP board, which is already selected by default, right? Um, the next thing is uh, show board name. You know, if I don't want it to show the board name, if I want it to show sprint name, all these. If I want it to show assignees. By assignees, I mean when issues are created or when developers are working on those issues, they kind of assign it to themselves. Remember, they self organize, so you don't assign these to them. They pick it up and they start working on them. So if remember, it is based on the current sprint. So if I want to know who is working on what, I can just make you know check mark this, and then um, then if I want it to be about this sprint or the next sprint, all I need to do is to you know um, next sprint do you for today. I'm gonna leave it on next sprint do you, and then how do I want this gadget to be updated is it um every 15 minutes or however right so um, i'm going to click on uh update every 15 minutes and after that i'm going to click on save let's see what happens now because i don't have an active sprint that is why uh, it says the selected sprint for this gadget is not currently active that is because i don't have an active sprint so let's just say I do have an active sprint. It's going to populate, right? It's going to populate information right here, right? But because I don't have an active sprint, you don't have that information. So if um, you are already working with a team and you guys are having an active sprint, it's going to, if you follow this process, it's going to give you this fundamental information that you're going to display to your stakeholders. Try it and let's see, okay? I'm just going to, um, I'm just giving you guys what it means to work on an, on the, what it means to use a gadget to create visibility. Now let's just say you just want to try up try out other gadgets. Okay, um, if you take a look on these gadgets, it's going to show you basically depending on what you want to uh, project to your stakeholders, right? Um, Let's just say you have started a sprint. You just want to have a gadget that can track the remaining time in a sprint. So this gadget here will give you that, uh, help you to get that information. There are also tons and tons and tons of um, gadgets you could use. Issues in progress. If you want to know issues that are still in flight and then understand what you need to do, if they are blocked, what is blocking them, if, there is a, if you have an open PR, 
all you need to do is to use these issues in progress to track that. So using guardians will make your job so easy as a scrum master, as an agile coach, right? Try it. It's going to help you to be able to stand out from other scrum masters. I have used this and I continue to use this. In fact, when I'm doing my sprint review, um, I used to um, use these guidance to be able to show stakeholders and the audience what has been the health of the team in terms of this in relation to the sprint and where we are in terms of timeline. It is not just telling them, but also showing them. So show and tell. All right. How does that feel? Do you think this is something you could try? Now, um, a lot of folks, a lot of Scrum Masters are not really sure on how they could use Jira. Perhaps when you did your Scrum training, you are not introduced to Jira. If you are not sure what to do on how you can navigate the Jira functionalities, there are lots of filters you could use. There are lots of queries you could run. Unfortunately, most people don't know how to do that. And if you're not sure how to do that, all you need to do is to connect with me. Let's collect, connect and collaborate, okay? That's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today on how you can use gadgets to make your job or make your duties or make your role very, very simplified working in an Agile or Scrum team. Thank you so much. You've been amazing sticking around for this fast uh, to 11 and 11 minutes and few seconds. I would appreciate, uh, please um, click the subscribe button, uh, click the notification bell, help me to like, share and comment. If you do have questions you're not sure about what I've been able to walk you through today, all you need to do is to click that uh, comment section and put in your question there, or you can private chat me. As you can see on top, you have my information. Reach out to my Facebook, if you are on Facebook, Instagram, if you on Instagram, or you can even send me an email, as you can see my email credential there, and then I can be able to connect with you, right? Thank you so much for staying around. It's been a, it's been a pleasure uh, having this conversation and sharing what I have learned. I would love to know what your thoughts are in terms of gadgets. Have you tried it before? Is this something you think you can use to make your work easier to track progress of your sprint and the health of your sprint? If you think so, let's try it. I'll see you again next time. In the meantime, I hope you stay well. Bye for now.